as above it from the police. We got, looks like a sergeant's vehicle here and a police uh, car up there. Much. What's going on? Spenders. Thank you. I like your Star Wars shirt. That's old school. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Did you get a haircut? Uh, a while back. Right. Star Wars Land just kicked open at uh, Disney World, or at least it does in like a week. Yeah. yeah. New one. It's going to be cool. You missed out on all the action. Now we're just yeah. jawjacking. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. no, we're just chatting at this yeah. point. Are you working traffic now, Sergeant? I am, the, I am one of the vehicular crimes team's sergeants. Okay, I noticed the stripe, that's why I was asking. Yes. Somebody was making fun of me for these earlier, and you know what? These are the most comfortable pants I've ever worn in law enforcement. Really? Yes. Huh. Lovely. They look kind of like Han Solo. Yep. He's yeah, got the stripe up there, there too. Yep. There you go. Yeah, I, 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 I like the way the traffic division wears the stripe down. I, I, it'd be nice to see other, other officers wear. Sharp. It does look pretty cool. I'll do it. It does. It also makes it easier to see. Yeah, well, especially well, if you're out cop watching, you're like, what are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> right in, you know? Maybe I should take these things off. I don't know. I, mean, I sat there. I sat there one time. I turned a corner, right? Because I thought the house was a few blocks down. Yep. And uh, this officer comes right out, right in front of my car, yeah. right? And it, it's, it was like no lights on that street, pitch black. And I see this person move in front of my car so I slam on my brakes and just so happens it's an officer and I'm like oh man <laughs> save both of you from a bad day right? <laughs> yeah bad night That's right. what I'm saying. well how are the protests going they're doing good nice excellent that's good I think both sides got what they wanted I think so too you know <laughs> I think that was wise Portland created a little bit of a no man's land down on the waterfront and yeah the the, uh, the Proud Boys got to do their thing, and uh, all the rest. I, I is it all Antifa? I don't know. Yeah, it's, a lot of it's Antifa. Yeah, Antifa got to do their thing. They didn't get to fight. <laughs> they didn't get to fight. Or at least not this time. Yeah. Well, the mayor's under a lot of pressure right now. Yes. Good old Ted. I would not like to be Ted right now. I would not like to be Ted. There's a few jobs I don't want to have, and his is one of them. Yeah, <laughs> and his is one of them. Yeah, and, and same, same with Chief Outlaw. She's got a... Uh, I don't She's know how she walking a tough road. Yeah, yeah she is. Because yeah. he's the police commissioner, and he's like, well, this is what I want, and this is what I expect, and, right. yeah. you know. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. And the thing is, is that the Proud Boys say that she's, that her and Ted's friends with Antifa and... Antifa says her and Ted are friends <laughs> yeah, with Yeah, well, that's... <laughs> which is actually a sign that you're doing a good job. If both sides yeah, are pissed see? at you, yeah. if both sides think you're for the other one, that means you're probably pretty in the middle. Being, right, yeah. being fair, right? But, yeah, they got a bunch of people on riot charges. A lot of them I, like, totally disagree with. Yeah. Well, luckily, pretty much everyone has video. Was it just was it just gone or riot? Riot. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, is this for, does this, not from this last? No, it was a cider riot. riot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's when Chris Ponty disappeared. Well, there were a few people, uh, at least that I heard, that were doing some pretty heinous stuff and then tried to hide in the cider riot with the normal people. Mm. And that's, that's unfortunate, right? It taints the entire group with a, with a shadow of negativity well when it, one person that's been negative then tries to yeah with the group you know well the thing is is cider right was anti antifa's little hangout yeah and joey and them just said well we have first amendment to walk down the street so sure, we're going to walk sure. down the street Absolutely. Yeah. and he started getting spit on and stuff like that and the group started getting pepper sprayed, and then they pepper sprayed back, and then yep. and Tifa started throwing rocks, and they started throwing them back. You know what's funny, and this is just my opinion on all this stuff, is if 
so right, wrong, or different, whatever you think about Proud Boys or the, the far right mm -hmm. investors that come into Portland, if you would just if they just came in and did their thing and left and nobody showed up, they would never come back. That's it. Yeah. They're, uh, they're, it's the same on both sides yes. if you think about it. Yeah. Antifa keeps showing up because they're getting a reaction. Yep. And yeah. the Proud Boys keep showing up because they're getting a reaction. Yep. Right. In a way, it's like two little kids that are just needling each other yeah. to make the other one go, Mom! No, seriously. Mm -hmm. you know? And it was like, I watch this periodically, and it's a, it's almost it's almost like that episode of The Simpsons where Bart is like, mm -hmm. I'm going to walk down the hallway like this. <laughs> if you get in my way. Yeah. And Lisa's coming down the hallway, and she's like, well, I'm going to walk down the hallway like this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, yeah. whatever. I would just find something else to do on a Saturday, personally, but... Sure. <laughs> Maybe Portland just needs a special protest in Thunderdome where people can just do whatever they want. I don't know, right? They can pepper spray each other to their heart's content. Yep. And then once you leave Thunderdome, you're you gotta be act by normal rules again. Yeah. But inside Thunderdome, protest how you want. Yeah, mm -hmm. like on Savi Island or something like That's that. It. Just you know, let them go. Not on Terminal One. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's lots of parking there. It would be okay. Absolutely. Primate services it. It's good. But yeah, it's I don't know. They're they're talking about showing up uh, every month now. Yeah, that's what uh, I heard too. Who has the time for that? <laughs> that is a lot of effort. <laughs> that's a lot of effort. Oh, yeah. Well, see what it is. The uh, people that that basically started this uh, protest on the seventeenth was Infowars. Uh, okay. 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 And I thought people were all upset at Alex Jones. I thought they didn't want that whole Infowars stuff going on. No, it was right, the right loud. Yeah, okay, there you go. And so, so yeah, the Infowars that said they're gonna do it, and the Proud Boys, and gotcha. you know, everyone else, and then all of a sudden, everyone else came in and said, "Hey, we're gonna go there." And, yeah. But yeah, he's talking about doing it for every month he's like is this the, like the leader of the proud boys or is it joey gibson's crew what no was? um the guy that the guy that uh, set this up the first time the which is out of florida gotcha. yeah i can't remember his name yeah he's out is of he florida a, oh that's nice of him <laughs> he's not a local but hey look i'm there to start issues yeah like, why don't you do something in jacksonville why don't you do something in florida yeah. Yeah, there. <laughs> i hear camp is a nice place yeah yeah well, they'll arrest you down there. Well, not only that, That's but you got to contend with the Gators. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah. Um, so yeah, they're like, well, okay, we came here. We came here to cost the city of Portland money. Which they did succeed. Yeah. They cost the city of Portland over two million dollars. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. protecting people's rights is expensive. Yeah. But it's important. Uh, so, yeah. people well, need to be able to say what I think they that, need to say. I think that the average citizen is just sick of this. You sure. know what I mean? So the, yeah. You know, and so they're they're not going downtown. They're not going to businesses. They're not. You know. mm -hmm. So that's unfortunate. But yeah. But you know what? I'm just out here in little old Gresham. You know? <laughs> I'm a worker bee. I go that's where I'm right. called and that's I try right. and help when I can. Absolutely. Well, I'm waiting to see them start doing their big, big protests like that in Gresham. Right. They won't. And you know why? <laughs> Because uh, they won't get the same response. The protest, no matter which side you're on, mm -hmm. wants the response yeah. from the public and the news. Yeah. The news isn't going to drive all the way out here, and the rest of the public isn't going to respond the same way they would downtown. No. And so since mm -hmm. they won't care as much, they're not going to do it out here. Yeah. The same right. reason there'll never be a bunch in Hillsboro or Beaverton or Salem. or mm -hmm. no, Salem has they the can, capital, though. Sure, but yeah. they still don't go down there. You notice that? They, it's it's very rare that they go down there to protest yeah. because they, they news doesn't want to drive all the way down to Salem. So oh. instead, let's do it up in Portland yeah. at some federal courthouse or some state courthouse, mm -hmm. and then they'll get the reaction. Yeah, about once every couple months they have one in Salem. Yeah, I can see that. They're a lot smaller. Yeah, and Eugene, same thing. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, Eugene was Eugene. huge. Yeah. Back in the day, they used to be a lot bigger. Yeah. Have they been having big ones again? Oh yeah. I mean. I, I mean, you got the college kids there. Yeah, you had the, um, you had about 15, 16 uh, gun rights activists. Okay. And were they doing open carry stuff, or were they just yeah. there? Okay. And then you had the rest, and it was at the courthouse, the whole rest, the whole front area, the street, really? yeah. part across the street, huh. was all counter-protesters. 
<laughs> yeah, I would imagine that that wouldn't be a super popular opinion to have down in Eugene. Yeah. No. Oh, well. But see, that's the thing, though, is like you don't see a lot of them, at least in, you don't see uh, the hub is Eugene, you don't see them in Springfield. No, mm -hmm. you don't. Like, that, same thing, because you're not going to get the same response in Springfield. They yeah. want the response. Yeah. They want they want a flashpoint. They want yeah. uh, the attention. Absolutely. And where in the metro area do you get the most attention? Downtown. Yeah. That's it. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to go right this up. All right. Cool. Nice talk. Have a good night, Bob. Bob okay. Care. All right. You guys, be safe. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. It's Bob.